Alrighty, so uh, this is going to be my first time using King. We're playing in geared PvP just because I already have a set for him and everything like that made. Uh, going over my actual King himself, I don't have any of his cosmetics or anything yet. I kind of wanted to just go in base, regular King, no cosmetics or anything. Uh, the only thing is I do have one extra copy of him for the ultimate, but if I'm not mistaken, I think it literally only increases his uh, his damage dealt from like buffs and debuffs removed by like 1%, which is just abysmal like why why is that a thing um but yeah so i they literally have that it's very minimal gains of course but uh yeah i do have one extra copy just in case you're worried uh worried about that but yeah i uh, don't have any of his extra cosmetics or anything like that these are all base stuff that one you get from affinity uh, and i have invested in that one because it was already a ur piece so yes very base kit obviously regular sort of thing this is I, I would say this is pretty like a good like look at it, what you would be looking at if it was a free to play day one because uh, obviously the uh, outfits and stuff like that are paid uh, for the first two weeks so we are going to be using an attack crit damage set on him because I think honestly his attack crit damage is going to be uh, probably the best play if you want to be an aggressive king user obviously uh, I do have a um, I have an HP defense set for him as well, and I'm going to probably use an HP crit damage set sometime in the future, and we'll sort of try to compare the two and see whether or not uh, you should maybe want, uh, run one over the other. But anyway, let's hop in. I'm using a pretty base team, I guess. Like, this is like the, almost like uh, the original, like, Margaret team, but instead of... Um, Death Pierce, we're going to be running Festival Zelders in the back. So everybody else on the team has pretty much all maxed out cosmetics. Uh, their, you know, ultimate levels are relatively high. I think uh, Gothers is at 4-6 at this point. Drolls is at 6-6. Six, six. And I want to say Zeldris is at like 2-6 or 3-6. I can't remember exactly. I think it's only 2-6. But uh, yeah, so... I don't have like uh, insane sort of cosmetics or anything like that on King, but I do have really high CC. So it looks like we're getting a player first turn, but uh, it's taking him a minute to load in. His name is The Real Free to Play, so I'm interested to see what his CC is. Um, he is using King and a Margaret, so we're roughly 30k above him, uh, and we have a King card turn one. So because we go first, we don't really need to worry about too much because of the fact that. Um, we will actually get a shield from King's passive. Uh, we're going to throw out the level 2 card first just in case. He's running uh, evasion food, which he is not. And then let's see what a level 3 card does turn 1. So, <laughs> almost killed. I almost wonder if um, if I would have been running Death Pierce there, I almost wonder if he would have won that. But, uh, I mean... Pfft ridiculous literally almost wiping the enemy team turn one is just like insane i don't know what they want the meta to look like in this game but this is not what i would have thought it would have been uh several months ago obviously like even when you know the one escanor came out him being able to kill a single character turn one was just mind-boggling like people were like whoa like pvp's getting a little too fast but uh that has not stopped them at all they obviously are just continuing to you know do what they're doing so easy win i guess uh let's hop into another one all right so we got a little bit lower on cc's roughly 260 um i'm almost gonna wonder if he i mean i'm not like super high up in the pvp like tiers at the moment but i kind of i'm, I'm wondering if i'm gonna encounter anybody using evasion food against king because he's you know kind of annoying um okay so no evasion Honestly, that card doesn't do as much as I would have figured it would have. And then, okay, they're actually pretty tanky on this team. Tarmiel gained a lot of HP back. We didn't pull any other king cards, unfortunately. I think we may try to... Um, I guess maybe go for Droll's ultimate, maybe? Not going to be able to get through the shield. Okay. And then let's go for something like this I don't know if I'm gonna break the shield though I did okay just barely so now he can't cleanse we have Droll's ultimate we have one king card in hand which is gonna be kind of nice it's the power strike card as, as well so that's kind of good okay well I should have seen that coming actually um, I'm not gonna be able to get rid of this at all uh, yeah, so... Hmm. 
Can't do anything about the Tarmiel, unfortunately. Boom. Yeah, not doing much damage here, but the shield is honestly going to be kind of helpful. We didn't do a whole lot of damage, so I'm not expecting the shield to hold up too crazily, but this is good testing either way. Okay, so here's the ult. Okay, he broke the shield. Not too much damage on my characters in general. Luckily, I have... Uh, a Tarmiel. Uh, or pff, Tarmiel. I have a Droll Stance going. Let's go ahead and upgrade on King. Maybe should have used the level 2 Dissolve there. I don't know what reason I would have had to not use it, but... Okay, okay. With the damage reduction and everything, I feel like the, uh, the other card... Uh, what is that one? Um, it's not the Power Strike. I think it has... Sever, I'm pretty sure, like triple crit chance. Um, I'm not doing as much damage as I would have figured I would be. I feel like he's just kind of using like a really tanky sort of stally team though. So it might be just really hard in general for me to get through him. Um, what's the ult looking like on her? Okay, he's only 1 6, so I feel comfortable. Dropping ults on him. If this actually puts up the shield, it does. Okay, so these might end up surviving quite a bit through the through the shield itself. I think we at least kill Liz here and pop the revive. Droll is 6 6, so. Nice, it killed Tarmio and her, and it killed Liz, uh, uh, Margaret, so that way she revived. Of course, he had Gil Thunder in the back. Um, we might be able to get this off here. I'm kind of interested. I kind of want him to buff if possible so that way I can see what it looks like to remove the buffs with the ultimate. Ah, he did not. Okay, that's fine. Kind of surprised I'm getting it off in general. I feel like I really don't get off uh, a lot of ultimates in PvP. Most of the time, I feel like the meta's so fast now, unless you just ult rush. Um, I don't know. It just, feel, I feel like it doesn't happen as, as often anymore. So, boom, kill her. I mean, honestly, that was a pretty decent competition. Like, he lasted a long time. Like, I wasn't killing him as fast as I feel like he does with most teams. But you can see I still ended up doing very, very well with uh, a lot of HP remaining and everything. So, next match. Alrighty, what do we got? Uh, it looked like one of his characters, I think it was Sariel, had some sort of like glowing on his outfit. I'm not really sure. I guess there's glowing on that outfit. I'm not really positive on that one. But either way, uh, we'll actually merge a Droll card here, which is going to be kind of nice. I don't know why, but I wasn't paying attention to the CC, so I'm not sure what he was looking like. I kind of wanted to swap out and put um, Death Pierce on instead of Zeldris in the back. I think I'll do that for the next match just to kind of see... Uh, if it'll help out that much more, um, just as a test, I guess, because, I don't know, Zelda seems, like, pretty good in the back, to be honest, but, um, I feel like with him critting so much, and Death Pierce lowering crit defense and crit resistance, uh, it might end up being even better, so we might try that. Unfortunately, it's looking like, uh... <laughs> We don't have any more king cards, but I do have decent rank ups and stuff. So let's um, let's just rank up into this. Droll is just like an insane support unit in general. So the fact that he just fits really well on the team. Obviously, there's like a ton of different teams that you could use um, instead of just like this one specifically. But this is, I figure if, you, if you've been using the Margaret team a lot, like this is like the sort of traditional Margaret team, you probably already have these characters built. Um, you know, so it, it's kind of easy just to slot King right into the uh, the team there. Obviously, not very free-to-play friendly to have Green Gother, just because he's really hard to, like, get in general. But, um, yeah, so let's hope... I actually don't think this is going to kill um, Sariel, unfortunately, but... Well, it is a level 3. I don't know. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Wow, okay, it actually did kill both of them. I was not really expecting it to kill Sariel there. 
with as much HP and he had the Margaret buffs on. So that's actually insane. Especially with this card too, like the Sever, instead of it being the Power Strike card, I would not have assumed this one would have been able to beat through that. Kind of nuts. Kind of, kind of insane. Um, I think let's go for something like this. We'll end up getting King's Ultimate here. Yeah, Tarmiel's dead right here. Boom. And then this might actually clear Eskinar. Uh, the meta is going to be absolutely destroyed today. <laughs> I just... Oh boy. And this is without costumes. Like, this is like pretty much like free to play King. I, I, I have the one extra copy of him, but... God. Alrighty. So we have switched over to um, Death Pierce in the back. Uh, we're roughly the same CC, still 318. I think uh, there might be a couple hundreds missing. Um, well, that was kind of unfortunate. I still want to test it either way. I'm going to buy one more PvP ticket really quickly and we'll, we'll hop back in. Alrighty, finally, we got into a match. Uh, it is another king. A uh, little bit lower CC than mine. Uh, hopefully he doesn't quit straight out the gate. But it is a real player, so I wouldn't be surprised if he did. Um, like, I get it. Like, it really is just kind of like go first or lose sort of scenario, which is really unfortunate. Like, I don't know what to say. He's already, yeah, he's already bowing. Boom, boom. Boom. 205. Um, I don't, I'll have to kind of look at the numbers afterwards. So we already killed his king. And yeah, we've got the shield up. His Escanor is obviously not going to really be able to beat through that very easily. So, yeah. I don't know. Honestly, he's he's crazy. He's really, he's too good, honestly. Like, I mean, there's not really any way for, else for me to put it. He's just, he's too good. Uh, they really should have dialed it back some when they made the character. But I, I get it. They want each, each and every festival unit to be better than the last. And they got to be super good so people summon for them. But uh, I don't know. They're, they're just they're they're destroying the PvP meta in the game, and uh, people really hate when the meta gets like drastically changed like this. But uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. He's he's obviously good in other game modes. I'm more excited for using him in sort of like bird boss uh, and like PVE stuff and farming teams and everything like that. But uh, he's here and he works in PvP, so I guess. Uh, we're just gonna have to sort of either use him or counter him so that's pretty much it i don't have anything else to say uh hopefully you guys enjoyed the video a little bit more of a i don't know it's a look at not having all the cosmetics and stuff like that so hopefully that was kind of cool but uh yeah i'll probably end up buying the cosmetics relatively soon so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the video feel free to subscribe if you haven't already uh, i would appreciate it we're trying to hit 6k subs but uh that's it from me so i'll see you guys in the next video